Hi, so I'm here today with the lovely Madeline Shaw, who's 19 weeks pregnant. And this has been a lovely journey for us because um, we've been working together for quite a while. And this baby was born on a really, really great foundation of good health because you made a lot of effort early on. And, and so I'm sure that it's going to be a really lovely pregnancy and healthy pulse. So how are you feeling now? Yeah, good. I've been like, I had a, loads of morning sickness in the first three months. But uh, yeah, I projectile vomited into um, my lunch one day. That was a good day. That's lovely. Um, but I, yeah, not being sick anymore, like feeling more energised, which is good. Great. So I'm going to feel the pulse and I'm going to look at the tongue, which is part of what we do as, as every acupuncture session. So when we feel the pulse, we're looking for lots and lots of different qualities, more than a doctor would look for. We spend a long time in our three years training learning how to take the pulse. And that feels like a really lovely pregnancy pulse to me. Oh, and let's have a look at your tongue. Okay, and underneath. Great. Yeah, looks really good. Are you feeling hotter than normal? Yeah, I definitely get quite warm. Yeah. Like, especially in the night when I'm sleeping. I wake up and then I'm suddenly like, get the duvet off. Yeah, I can definitely see that from the tongue, that there's okay. like, like a little bit of heat, heat. but that's okay. normal in pregnancy. But if, um, if you feel that it's too uncomfortable at night, mm -hmm. then just be careful with spicy foods and things like that okay. in the evening. But the things that tend to heat the body are spices, chilies, things like that, red meat, okay. chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate's really heating. <laughs> um, so if it becomes uncomfortable or if you get any acid, have you had any acid indigestion? No, I haven't. Brilliant. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to that. No, well, it's not, you know, you <laughs> won't necessarily get it. But if you get symptoms like that, then if you reduce the amount of heating foods in the diet, then that can really help. Okay. So I'm going to do some very simple acupuncture. I wanted to show you the needles. They're nothing to be afraid of. Um, lots of people ask me if it's painful. There's definitely a sensation. Um, but it's not exactly painful, is it? No, it's definitely not painful. Like, it just feels like, like a teeny prick. Yeah. Um, and the, they're very, very thin, the needles. They're hair thin. And we only use them once and then we throw them away. So they all come in sterile packaging like that. Mm -hmm. And then we locate the point. So I'm going to use this point here on the leg. This is a really amazing point for your energy and also really good for your digestion as well. Because it's obviously really important what we eat. Um, but it's really important how well we digest food as well. So, take a deep breath in and out. How was that? Yeah, I, I didn't really feel that. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> You're a pro. <laughs> and is it the same on both sides? Yep, this so one is. There are some points that we use that um, you use one on one side, one point on one side and one on another, but for this point, and this point is amazing. It's called Stomach 36. And, and in the textbooks, there's about four pages describing what it's used for. So it's one of the most widely used points in the body. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of heat out of the body okay. as well. Um, be interesting to see how hot you feel tonight after you've had this session. Not that I'm particularly worried about it, but when we do um, acupuncture, we're looking for just a slight imbalance. So it's yeah, just about bringing the body back into normal function. So there's a lovely point here. It's actually one of my favorite points. It's called large intestine 11. So take a deep breath in and out. So typically during pregnancy, I would use less needles than I would at normal time because the body responds really, really quickly. It's actually like children, you know, you, you bear, the body changes really, really quickly, so you can get really good effects without very many needles at all. Okay, okay and then I feel the pulse again. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. <laughs> so normally I'd leave the needles in for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And often in a, um, an acupuncture session, I would give lifestyle advice as well, so dietary advice and ask about sleep and things like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the initial consultation, remember we spend quite a long time so, speaking, yeah. um, but I know Madeline really well, so we can get there really easily. <laughs> Good. So then I'd leave her to rest, and then I'd come back at the end of the session and I'd take the needles out and feel the pulse again. Please do subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, please do put them down below because I will be answering them all.